Hey, Shalom. Call Allah. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Yahweh Chakradash. The ones who have passed the great millstone. And Shalom to all the brethren on the highways and byways doing the work sincerely and faithfully and continue to fight the good fight of faith. You know, I'm driving and I'm thinking about, you know, just the hell that we have, we have to endure for the short remaining time that we're here in these bodies that we live in. You know? And I'm going to say it like this, man. You know, uh, each, as each passing day goes by and every waking morning, you, you feel the pain, you feel the, the, the aches, you know, the, the illnesses, you feel all that shit in this body. But you know what? We take it cheerfully. And I don't mind, you know, now that I think about things, man, I don't mind being in this body, you know, because it keeps, it keeps me grounded knowing that this hell and this fucking pain and all this, you know, crap you got to endure and the Ill, ailments, you know, it keeps me grounded. Knowing that Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai went through hell. Okay? So being in these bodies right now, it keeps you grounded, man. Knowing that this pain and this suffering that we undergo is for a reason. Okay? You know, I, I think about all these other guys and all these other groups who have, you know, they're, they're joyous. They're very joyous in, in all aspects of their of their life. Okay? And I said to myself, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai is not plaguing these men as the men of the Lord being plagued. You know, the apostle Paul, he suffered He suffered a thorn in his side. You know, it never specified what it was, but he suffered it, man. You know, and you look at all this, some of those uh, scribes and Pharisees, you know, you, you know, you, you gotta ask yourself, were they, were they plagued like the apostle Paul was plagued? Okay, I mean, we know the story of the apostle Paul, we know what he went through. Likewise with the men of the Lord from the head apostles on down. You know what we go through, and the Lord also puts that thorn in our sides as well. Whatever ailments brothers may have, I'm telling you, it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a real deal thing, man. You know, and that's what keeps you grounded. When you when your body when our bodies are are, are, are suffering pain and ailments, you you don't want it. You're not a happy guy, man. You're not a happy camper. You don't want to be smiling and laughing all the time. And that's why I look at most of these guys in these other groups and other camps. The Lord's don't, he's not plaguing them. The Lord said, whom he chasteneth, he loveth. And these cats will be partying like it's, you know, like they in the kingdom already. All right? So here we at Great Millstone, I tell brothers, man, take whatever ailment you got, take it cheerfully. Okay? Knowing that the afflictions that we suffer right now is for a reason. You know? Yahweh Shai went through hell. Aren't we? Aren't we also expected to go through hell? And there's gonna be a there's gonna be a real hell coming down from Esau real soon. But at the same time, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gives us those little thorns in our sides, man. Whatever they may be, whether it be your knees, your vision, you know, you may have some some palpitations, you know, you may have headaches, blurry vision, all this shit that we go through. You know, and I look at most of these, like I said, I look at these other guys and they all jip and happy, you know, just, just running, a, just running a wreck, man. But this is the price we pay of being servants of the Lord, being the true servants of the Lord from the head apostles on down, man. You know, and I, it's, it's almost safe to say, damn, I, I believe every brother in Great Millstone may have some type of ailment in their body and their flesh, man. And some of this shit you just can't get rid of The Lord will ease it up on you for a minute or two But after that he'll throw it right back on your ass But all that's what? To keep us in remembrance Just like when the, we have the Passover We eat that bitter herb, right? It keeps us in remembrance of how bitter it was in up in Egypt You know? And now this time around We're making our bodies a, a, a living sacrifice So being that living sacrifice the Lord's going to definitely, you know, hinder us, you know, and test our patience, you know, and test our manhood. And, and, and as the scriptures say, you got to constantly endure. Without a change to a lower state, you got to constantly endure, man. You know, ain't nobody here going to throw in the towel because, you know, we got headaches or we, we feeling ill and, you know, we wake up in the morning stiff as a damn board, go to sleep, wake up. If you even do sleep, I mean, I, I think I'm clocking in probably three, who knows, man, three to four hours a night, you know, 
just up, you know, tossing and turning, and just pain, aches. So, but we here, like I said, we should take these things cheerfully, you know, take these ailments and all the, the troubles that we go through in this body, take them cheerfully, man, you know, and be blessed that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has given us the spirit of endurance and, and, and of courage to continue on in this faith, man, in this ministry. You know, there's nothing else I'd rather do. If 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 the, if the, if the Lord said to me, I had a dhamma, you know, you can you can either take away all this, you know, ailments, and, and you know, be worry free, or I'll keep the ailments on you, and you're gonna have to just suffer it. You know, we ask the Lord to take it away, but at the end of the day, man, I, I say, just let let it let the Lord do what He do, man. Let He do what He do. If He's gonna plague you with a, a a thorn, Paul said, the Lord said to Paul, "My grace is sufficient for thee." So it's 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 the Lord's grace that is bestowed upon us, man. Even in our affliction, the Lord is graceful and merciful unto us, man. Lord said he's not going to give us he's not going to give us anything that he, we can't handle basically you know so it's a beautiful thing man to know that we're being chastised by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because at the end of the day he's going to raise us up you know but right now I'm not thinking about you know when the ailments are going to stop when no there's there's work to be done man you know if you if you got a job that you got to do and you know the shit got to get done you're not gonna sit there and wait for the, you know, wait for the weekend to come. Oh, I can't wait for the week. You gotta get the job done, man. Shit gotta get done. The Lord's will and the Lord's work gotta be done, regardless of our feelings and our pains and our aches and our ailments and our troubles and our issues at home or what have you. The hell with all that. The work of the Lord has to be done, and this is why the Lord has chosen us to be those soldiers, because He knew our selected men from the foundations thereof. Where we're able to handle and bear the grunt of the weight, man. A lot of you guys can't bear that weight, man. And sometimes the weight is super heavy, sometimes it's light. But all in all, it's it's weight that the Lord puts on you. And a lot of men turn to the wayside because they can't handle the, the weight. Especially when the Lord brings you in the truth, opens your eyes, and your woman leaves you. That's when men just lose their goddamn minds. I can't do this. I'm out of here, you know? But all in all, all that being said, may the Lord continue to bless and, and praise, and, and we praise the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving us any ounce of affliction that he gives us, because un, unto him, the issuance of pain, healing, and health, you know, and we keep doing what we're doing, he's going to heal us, man. Without a shadow of a doubt, he's going to heal us and bring us all back to where we need to be. But until then, there's still a battle before us, there's still a war to be fought. We're going to fight that fight Regardless of what condition we're in Alright To all them brothers out there Who got them serious ailments And that are still forging and pushing on May the Lord continue to bless and strengthen you Each and every day you wake up brothers Alright So I just wanted to get that out Those quick thoughts out You know Because our, our, our time is short here man Time is very short And it's going to get a hell of a lot harder Alright So Lord willing All you brothers You know Hold fast Stay focused Stay grounded Continue to pray to Yahweh Bash Miao Shai that he looks out for the hope for the leg. Until then I say Shalom.